In terms of speaking up and getting paid for it, this is really key. One of the key uh, inquiries that I get is from people who have maybe started out doing a bit of cross promotion, maybe some podcast interviews, maybe they've been interviewed for a local magazine, uh, maybe they've done an Instagram live with somebody, and then they get that next opportunity, that moment where uh, it, it's two things. It's like, oh, this is really exciting. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness, this has been something on my vision board. And then the other half of that is like, oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? Uh, I don't know what to ask for. Uh, I don't know. Shall I just say yes? Um, shall I just say yes is sometimes one of the most frightening things that I can hear. Because shall I just say yes is the equivalent of somebody reading a contract like this. Yeah, I'm just going to say yes. Like not even reading it. And I think when we are sharing what it is that we do and we are collaborating with others, I think we have to be thoughtful about what that looks and feels like. Because we're not just in a place now where we're speaking in local pubs or village halls or um, a tiny room at the back of a working man's club. I mean, literally, I, I've, I've done all, I've brought all the glamour to this moment. Um, when I see people going up to that next level, there are other things to consider. So they might be there um, invited as a paid speaker as part of an event. Equally, they may not have even been offered a fee, but there might be some kind of floaty, oh, it's exposure and like if we make a profit, we'll give you 7.2% of the, what, what, what is this all about? What is this all about? So we have to be really clear about the right questions to ask and really understanding what this is all about. And this isn't coming from a scary place of like, right, I'm going to come back to you with my 37 questions because I feel like you're going to screw me over. Most people, I don't believe, are going to screw you over. But for you as the business owner, as the personal brand, as the freelancer, whoever it might be, it's really important that you understand what your commitments are. So in one instance, for example, somebody might say, okay, we'd love you to come and speak at this event and it's going to be great and 400 people are coming. Um, however, at this time, we don't have a speaking fee for you. And you might sit with that in your head of asking many questions, as in, you might say to yourself, do you know what? I've always wanted to work with this brand. And I do believe that if I have 400 of my ideal client, that is worth my time in terms of giving up an hour to be asked a few questions on the stage. However, there may be other things behind the scenes. As in, these people might be charging um guests to come. So they may be selling 400 tickets. Where is that ticket money going? Who is it paying? Is it just paying the organizers and not paying you? What happens then if this is filmed and then it's sold as part of their online course and then suddenly you see um, their three-part video series two years down the line where they say, look how I became a seven-figure business owner from selling this one event and you're looking at yourself going, oh my gosh, I was speaking at that event. It's all me and I didn't get paid. It's really important to understand your position in all of these contractual conversations and really asking the right questions so you feel that not only can you show up as you and really do a great job, but also you have that sense of integrity, of that charging your worth thing is always a bit peculiar because many of us have not been taught how to charge our worth and it's always changing and it's not as clean cut as that. 
But having a sense of when you show up and you do what you do, coming away going, ah, yeah, that felt good. It felt like there was some reciprocity there. So in Speak Up, there is a whole module upon, on this. But equally, if you want to do this in a strategy session and as map it out together, you're going to be ready for that next opportunity. I see far too many people giving their speaking services away or being locked into various things. And instead of asking the right questions, suddenly they've given all of their materials away for free. And I'm not saying there should be like a winner takes all action, but I feel that there is plenty to go around so you can be compensated and do a great job as well. To find out about Speak Up, just go to nikkiraby.com forward slash speak up. Um, if you would prefer to do this as a strategy session, I can help you the whole shebang getting you ready to become a paid speaker. Lots of love. Bye.